Okay, looks like it's all recording. Welcome back, everybody, to one of these rare Pokemon Stadium 2 streams. I thought we could do a little bit of this to end today's stream on. Um, we've mostly been doing Gym Leader Castle for round two, but I wanted to try the challenge um, tournament again, because that one gives you pure random Pokemon to work with, and I thought that, like, because things have been going so well, um, let's ruin it by having some streams that go terribly. Why not? There's four of them we gotta do. Again, thank you for the sub there, Spitfire. Appreciate it. All right, I'm comfy, I'm cozy. What do we got? We don't have to waste time picking Pokemon at the start either. I'll show you the power of great outdoors. Oh my. We got a Charmander. That's cool. Um, the Pidgey looks shiny. Hang on a second. Let me remember my buttons. Exeg, cute. Okay, take down, sand attack, ancient power, earthquake. Okay, we got a fast earthquake user with uh, with soft sand. Not bad. Um, For Meryl, we have ice beam, rain dance, surf. Okay, not a terrible... Foresight is literally a useless move. We do not need that. Speed is 53. Diglett has 86 speed. Mareep has thunder, protect... Uh, yeah, and it has berry juice. I mean... It's not that great. It's a thunder user, so it's just you send it out and hope it hits something. Charmander has... Oh. Dragon Rage at level 30? Okay. Um, consider me interested. Fire's got a lot of weaknesses, though, especially on this guy's team. And it has a Miracle Berry. Pardon me if I'm, not, if I'm a little too far away from the microphone. Not terrible, really, but I'd have to gauge the HP of the level 30 Pokemon. I'm not going to one-shot things, but... It's a guaranteed two-shot in a lot of situations. Pidgey has wing attack, double team, and a mystery berry. This thing is not doing anything. <laughs> it doesn't even have fly. Its stab moves are wing attack and tackle. You curse for buffing. Execute has toxic solar beam, sleep powder, psychic, twisted spoon. Now, that's not the worst thing ever. But, uh, Rain Dance on one on my team with Solar Beam is kind of bad. Sleep Powder could come in clutch. So I think it's pretty fair to say that Execute, Charmander, Meryl, and Diglett are the best. Mareep is okay. Pidgey is worthless. Twisted Spoon. I would say it's probably... Let me see here. We could take in the Diglett, probably use Earthquake on half the team. Uh, Meryl could Ice Beam... No, sorry, Surf on the Wooper. Probably be a good switch in if it tries to water the the mole okay then do that and for the last one i suppose i could just take an execute right yeah that should be all right let's give it a go how's the audio should i turn it up a bit more you guys let me know how it sounds i've never seen a shiny in challenge cup but it can happen right or can it happen in all the cups Okay. Earthquake's that one. 69 go. HP. So two Dragon Rage should kill most things here. Hang on. Earthquake. Is it a one-hit kill? Whoa. Soft Sand is a 10% power boost here. Okay. We finished Earthbound the other stream, so I thought maybe we could just do a little bit of Pokemon Stadium, since I wasn't sure what else to play today. I should mention right quick, we kinda ha we're kind of having a weird weather day right now. Um, could send in Meryl here and just hit it with, um, Surf after that. Yeah, do that. So I'm stuck at home. I couldn't go to the gym this morning because the roads are, like, too icy. Excellent. So I did, like, four hours of Yu-Gi-Oh, and now we're doing a few hours of this to end the night on. Streamers getting some extra things recorded this week. Excellent. Should be able to outspeed you. Now we're gonna go with Surf. Switching was safe. Meryl's not like a glass cannon. I mean, it's Meryl in Gen 2. It's not much of anything, to be to be fair. Oh what? Hold up. Chat, did that have a focus band? I didn't- I looked over at chat, and I- and it's back with 1 HP. I thought it was dead for sure. I didn't see if there was a focus band notification, or if it just got absurdly lucky. 
No? Damn. Well then. Oh, wait, what was the Meryl's held item? I don't- I, I forgot. Alright, the Shrew is down. If we can get a, a continue, that's really helpful for Challenge Cup, so let's make sure. Let's do it. Okay, Charmander. Um... Could probably switch in the Diglett safely. Cause Char would Charmander outspeed me? Would I kill it? Am I holding Mystic Water? Probably, yeah. You can check its item. It is Mystic Water, okay. I shouldn't get greedy. I feel like the Surf will hit it. Let's go. Nah, it's got Outrage. Diglett's too frail to switch into, so whatever. We'll take the hit. I know Diglett's faster, but switching in is not safe right now, and I don't want to give up this team, because I'm not going to get it again if I have to reset. Does Pokemon seem okay? Go for it. When will Ancient Power be the better option? I suppose Flying types, because Earthquake can't hit those. I thought it was going to live for a second. The Diglett's got 69 HP. Yeah, Focus Ban is in Gen 2. Don't worry, I've seen it plenty of plenty of times in this game. I can tell you that. No continue, sadly. It's harder to get the continue when you get the little babies. Zephyr Badge acquired. We'll see how far we can get. Wanted to mainly try Challenge Cup today and see what we could do. Oh, Rocket Executive, okay. My energetic child has come along, or an energetic child has come along, sorry. Okay, looks like Earthquake would be good here, along with uh, Charmander. We went from the, the junior trainer to Rocket Executive for round two. Okay. Hmm. Meryl's got Ice Beam. Only two of them are Grass. Can Earthquake everything... Except Grass will make it a neutral hit, and they'll probably hit me hard. An Ancient Power the Zubat if needed. Oh, wait a second. I could use Psychic with the eggs on everything. Twisted Spoon. How, what's my speed here? Charmander has 63 speed. Execute has 47 speed. Then again, I, do any of these things really have anything that can hurt Execute? Zubat probably has Wing Attack, but... That's not, like, that bad. My defense is decent anyway. So, Execute, uh, Diglett, and Charmander should should work here. Hang on. I'm worried I hit the wrong buttons. Okay. Let's try it. He brought his little poison babies. Let's do it. Show that you care. Post your teddy bears. We're ready. Okay. Psychics are right there. Like I was trying to say earlier, because before I got too excited by the Pokemon there. I'm doing a bunch of uh, streams this week, trying to save up some stuff. Let's do it. Um, the stream anniversary is in a few days, but I was thinking of taking an extra day off next week, because I wanted to work on a video before the month ends. I'm trying to get some things done so I can uh, commission some more art for the channel soon. Let me see. Okay, that's bad. Wasn't expecting Sludge Bomb on Bellsprout, to be honest. Come on. Oddish would have the same thing. Only Bellsprout? It's down. Look at that. Look at all those happy teddies in chat right now. Excellent. Perfect. Can I outspeed it? I don't know how fast this thing is. What would it go for anyway? I'm, I'm pressing it. Damn it! Oh, wow, that did nothing. Nice. And I got a crit. Nice. Pretty happy with that. I told you the defense was good, but I was expecting a body slam of all things to do something. Execute does have decent special attack. Didn't realize its defense was alright for this. 
Perfect. Win. Lose. This is meaningless to us. Okay, then. His baby rabbits got booped, and he's like, this is meaningless. I, I don't... I really win here. What a baby. Okay, junior trainer, trainer again. It feels wonderful to battle Pokemon outside. Oh. Um... A lot of flying types here. I could ancient power them. Mareep spamming thunder wouldn't be a bad idea, because the flying types aren't going to be able to do a stab to me. Ladybug can't do anything. Um, yeah, I'm, uh... See, the thing is, if I go for ancient power, that's... Not, I don't know that's going to be a one-hit kill. Ancient power is, like, not that much power, and Diglett is Diglett. It has a high stab earthquake with soft sand, but ancient power probably could live that. Hoot Hoot probably could. Hmm. I'd say that spamming with Mareep would be okay. It has berry juice, so I can just get away with maybe spamming thunder for a bit. Same with the Krabby, too. Uh, Diglett would be a good sw Actually, you know what I could do? Meryl's Ice Beam would also cover a lot of these, and I could surf the Vulpix. So maybe Mareep, Diglett, and Meryl would be okay here. Try that. My performance was egg-exceptional, egg sorry. Oh, anyways, let's do it. By the way, chat, I didn't talk too much about the anniversary coming soon. I wasn't sure what to do for that stream, but last night I was kind of thinking about maybe doing Destiny Tower attempts. That could be fun. Try, finally try that for the first time on stream after putting it, off, putting it off for literally years. And critical crab hammer. That's not good. Please hit. Please hit. Okay, good. The kill? Has to. Krabby has no freaking special defense. Not fair. Hit the 70, everybody. There's nothing scarier to a Pokemon player than victory depending on Thunder hitting. Can always start with Charizard. I don't know. For Destiny Tower, I hear that one of the best ones is like Drifloon and Drifloom. Because Unburdened is busted in that game. It'd be cool if I had leftovers. I could make use of uh, Protect a bit for more. Okay, let's boost Thunder again. I don't know why I'm hesitating here. Is it switching? Solar Beam? Okay. Is it gonna kill? If it wouldn't have killed, I could just protect. That's really funny. Excellent. And here comes a hoot. Because this was the last to come out, Hoot Hoot probably has nothing it can do against Marie, except Swift. Alright, nothing too bad there. Go for it. Marie fused Thunder and Bop it. I'm worried I'm a little too far away from the microphone with this setup today. Let me know how it sounds. <laughs> Just in case, I'm a little worried. Seems like it sounds pretty good to most of you, so I should be okay. I just feel like the game audio has been a little too loud lately. Do that. Okay, we got another continue. That's pretty good. We're almost to the halfway point. Let's see if we can pull this off. Sounds fine to you? Alright. Let's do it. Oh, it's the... It's not silver. I let my guitar do the talking. The Gen 2 guitarist looks exactly like a bootleg silver. It's so funny. So what do we got here? We got a couple of babies, including Sunkern. Fire Blast is inaccurate, so I worry about that. Hmm. I mean, no less accurate than, um... No less accurate than Thunder. Dragon Rage is good backup if I don't want to depend on that. If Pichu comes out, let me see. Hang on, what's Meryl's speed? What's Meryl's speed here? Meryl has a speed of 53, so uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Hold up. 
And hear that. Mareep speed is 50. Okay, so moderately slow Pokemon. Diglett's really fast, though. I'm not confident it could... See, I need to have Diglett for, to cover for the Electric types here. But, um... If the Grass types come out, I could easily switch into Charmander or Meryl. Depending on the move being used against them, I guess. I guess that's what I should do. It's really 50-50. Paris is weak to Ancient Power, but I'm not confident Ancient Power would kill it. I'd say Charmander's a safe switch in. What was its item again, though? Miracle Berry. Oh, if they go for a status move, he's a perfectly safe switch in, I'd say. It's decently faster. Diglett is by far the fastest, though, at 86. So let's go Diglett, Charmander, Meryl. Right. Pidgey has a uh, Wing Attack, Tackle, and Double Team, so... uh. It's not winning anything. Shocked and rocked. Okay. Right call was made. You see that little baby rodent? They need, we need this whole stadium for these little Pokemon to fight. Oh yeah, Smoochum is also pretty good for Destiny Tower Minored. Someone on Reddit has 84, or sorry, 81 clears so far on it. Nice, I got some catching up to do. I've already gotten, like, three Purity Forest clears in the past month, so I'm pretty happy with that. Decided to pick up the pace a bit, because last year was such a mess. I've been talking about how, like, a lot more motivated I've felt lately. I want to get more things done. That's why I was talking about commissioning more art. Again, though, when I say that, I'm not, like, begging you all to sub or anything. I'm just saying I'm trying to get more streaming done, so I have more to upload. There we go. I'm never going to be one of those people that sit here and be like, you, you better sub to me or else. Even when I have ka the, the kawaii anime VTuber in the corner, I'm not going to do that. Excellent. Most of the BRB screens I have right now are um, basically just fan art that's sent to me, which I really, really appreciate. They're very good. Do it. Damn. That was really lucky. They went all Electrotypes. Sick. Sorry, Darren. Is he supposed to be holding the top of his guitar? I think he is. I'll just go home and work on a ballad. So weird that's included. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. No, no, no. I already showed it off enough earlier. It's okay. What's next? The fisherman, but his smoke has been removed. Some fishermen have no patience at all. Hurry up already. Took one sentence. Oh! Well, this one looks like a Mareep spam. Um, Solar Beam... Oh, no. Yeah, I have to send in Mareep. Solar Beam is my backup. Um... Oh, what do I do with the last Pokemon, though? Diglett and Charmander will get, like, drowned by anything. Meryl has Ice Beam and Surf. Crap. Pidgey is... There's no way I can send Pidgey out as the final backup. Like, come on. Hang on. <sighs> Slower than Charmander. Has, like, no special defense. It's not gonna win anything with Wing Attack. It has a Mystery Berry, so it can replenish its PP, everybody. <laughs> Alright. I didn't even realize that it had the Mystery Berry. I. I'm better off sending in Charmander and hoping it outspeeds to j just to land a raw Dragon Rage? Or am I better off sending in Meryl to hopefully get a, a random freeze with with um Ice Beam? Because this is the thing right now is it's all up to Mareep and Execute, but if I have to send in one thing as a backup, I'm not really sure. A lot of these Pokemon aren't fast, so maybe Charmander would be the safe bet. Because Meryl only has 53 speed. Charmander would probably outspeed a lot of them, like Slowpoke and Meryl and Wooper, I'd say. Poliwag's not fast, I don't think. Because if I could just go in and finish something off... Hmm. Jeez, I don't know. Also, welcome, friend. I missed your hey message there earlier. I love how, like, Twitch often highlights uh, when someone's first message... Sorry. Twitch highlights your message if it's a first-time chat message. 
So I, the new people do stick out in chat. I don't always have the a second to say hi, though. Don't worry. Greedy streamer will notice you if you sub. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <sighs> I hope it doesn't come down to the last Pokemon. I really, really hope it doesn't come down to the last Pokemon. I'll go with Meryl. Because I'm worried about Rain Dance. No, Pidgey can't do anything. It's not going to do anything but die. Excellent. There we go. And not to sound petty, chat, but it's also funny, like, when I see a bunch of new messages that, in chat that say first-time viewer, and it happens shortly after someone's like, well, I'm never watching this stream again, because they got told to stop being weird. I just find that amusing. Hang on. All right, we're going to go for the Raw Thunder. It might be a Rain Dance team. Oh. I was hoping he'd Rain Dance. I was hoping that miss. Berry Juice will activate. Excellent. Blop. I missed. Chat, and this is why we grind continues. Maybe I should try and deplete the Hydro Pump PP. It only has five. There's no PP ups on enemy Pokemon in this. Just in case it becomes relevant, I might as well do that. I highly doubt, though. What's having viewers like? I don't know. Are you people real or are you bots? Another one hit me. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Will kill. It has killed. I should probably use a Protect and see what it's preparing to do. It's probably going to go for some option to finish me off. It's Slowpoke. I want to see what it goes for. Everyone lurks. Yeah, lurkers add to the view count. Don't worry. Lurkers are friends. Unless they're rude. Let me see. Alright, let's go. Go for the thunder. Go for the raw thunder. I'm a bot. I'm a bot. What? There's so many bots in chat now. I missed. Oh, boy. Yeah, there we go. Well, now we use solar beam and pray. 70 accuracy. 70 accuracy. Pokemon has taught me. Taught me. To never trust 70% odds. <laughs> Toxic's not really gonna do a whole lot for me. Its best stab its best possible stab moves cannot hurt me. I resist them, so I'm just gonna charge the solar beam. It can't even switch out of it with its other Pokemon. If I just put it to sleep, I'm still gonna have to charge and it can just wake up in that time. Oh, now it has Rain Dance. Now it has Rain Dance. Great. Now it's going to have reduced power. Didn't even do that much. Well, this attempt's basically screwed. Now I have to put it to sleep. Let's hope it doesn't miss. Excellent. You know what the benefit of not doing Gym Leader Castle today is? I don't have a bunch of people screaming in my ear to use Rock Smash with Zapdos. Hit him with the 20% fighting type move. It'll definitely kill. Well, do I charge it or do I send in Meryl at this point? To take advantage of the rain and spam Surf. Hmm. not going to do a whole lot to me. Gonna do a whole lot to him. All I can do is surf and freaking ice beam him. It sucks. But now Solar Beam's power is cut in the rain. 
Okay, he's still asleep. We got good sleep luck. Let me get some water. This rain is making me thirsty. Maybe I'll get a crit. Oh, can I finish him? Oh, I have to charge Solar Beam. Hang on, hang on. It's not gonna be enough now, the Gold Berry activated. Yep. He woke up. Is he gonna Rain Dance again? No, he's going Surf. Now we gotta hope the last Pokemon coming out doesn't have Ice Beam or something, so I can have another turn to charge a Solar. Nice. Was this Battle 4 or 5? Oh, it's 5, right. Um, Bootleg Silver was Battle 4. Krabby? Oh, nice, I have good physical defense, so... Whatever it does, I should be safe to survive. Charge the solar beam and just kill him. Even if he rain dances, doesn't even matter. <sighs> and he outspeeds me too. Whatever, I'll just go for psychic after this has to land. That should be enough to finish him off if this doesn't. Grabby's special defense is pitiful. Pitiful chat. Or was it it's or was it it's special attack? Oh no. Okay, I hit. Soften him up for Meryl. Well, it's up to Meryl. I think a Rain Dance buff Surf should kill it. Okay, we're good. We're good. It would be so funny if they activated Rain Dance, and then I could just sweep with Mareep's Thunder. But they weren't doing it at first. Special attack and defenses are the same. Okay. Go, little Meryl, go! Water in Sanium 2 is so, like, indigo. We did it, Tennies! It would be nice if I could have a t rental Teddy Ursa for times like these, but nah. Teddy's win! My preparation was all wrong. I'll fix that next time. Dang, we're actually going pretty fast, but five battles took like a half hour. Excellent. Alright! Screaming old lady. You have no fear? Of course I have no fear. Okay. What's there to be afraid of? Your Jigglypuff? Jiggly puff, drowsy, slow poke, he chew, lady ba, and execute. Meanwhile, I have exeg cute. When they combine, they make full caps execute. Anyways, enough screwing around. What do I do? That slow poke is looking pretty flesh colored there, ain't it? Hmm. Uh. Slow poke's the only water type. I don't really have anything to deal with Psychics, do I? It might be best to use Charmander's Dragon Rage, because the only thing that can use super effective damage to me is Slowpoke. Damn. Um, spamming Thunder with Mareep. Oh, uh, it's not going to kill everything. Each you and Execute resist it for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Don't need Fire Blast, I feel. I mean, I could go for against Execute for the one-hit kill. It would suck if it missed, though. Why would I take the Pidgey? What's the Pidgey gonna do? It has Tackle and Wing Attack as its stab moves. And it has a useless berry. It's, it's literally like one of the worst RNG rolls for this. Ooh. Let me see... Edgy will get hit by Psychic and die. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. There we go. Just go for double team. It works 100% of the time. 
Ask me, ask Ricky on the playground. It always works. Let me see. Nothing that's super effective against Psychic. Nothing to charge a Solar Beam for except Slowpoke, but that's annoying to do again. Hmm. Can't really Earthquake anything but Pichu. An Ancient Power Lediba, but it's not like Lediba's a threat. Gosh darn it. At least Mareep's tanky because of its berry. Hello, friend. Welcome. Ooh. Oh, this one might take some trial and error. They have a good variety of Pokemon, sadly, that I can't ha I don't have a definitive answer for. Hmm. I suppose coming out with a fast, heavy Earthquake would be good. What's my attack stat on Diglett here? 57. Charmander's special is 60. Wait, Meryl's special attack is 36? Oh my god, I didn't realize it was that bad. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Execute's got good special attack, though. Oh my goodness, guys. Let's see here. You see. Meryl is not an offensive attacker, that's for sure. <sighs> Eggs can hit that there. Let's see. Zinnamon. Round six is about to get underway. Many trainers have fallen by the way, leaving just eight for each. Let's hope Charmander does all it needs to do. Dragon Rage is 40 in Gen 2, right? Okay, it's got 84, so we can just go for the raw fire blast, I'd say. Please hit. Please hit. Is it switching? Okay, it's probably going to Slowpoke. Puff? Oh, Puff's got tons of HP. I can't Dragon Rage that. If I burn, burn, burn. Oh, yes! That's good. <laughs> okay. It's probably gonna go for... Hang on a second. Hmm... It's gonna go for a physical move. It's not gonna do much anymore. It might be safe to let Marie uh, deal with this now and save Charmander for later. I don't know if just Jigglypuff goes for special moves or body slam. Let's find out. Bubble Beam. Oh, that's why. It, I guess that's why it switched into Charmander. Okay. No reason not to... Maybe it's gonna switch again, though. I'll Thunder once, then Protect, because if I waste the turn, if it switches again, that would suck. I'll try. No switch. <laughs> Take a drink, everybody. Thunder missed. Oh, sweet kiss. And it missed. All right, then. Protect it is. Let's let that burn kill you. We're having roasted puff for dinner. I'm pretty sure that's the third time Thunder is uh, missed today. Modded? No, this is on my Switch, friend. I didn't mod my Switch. You can see the Switch icon in the corner there. There we go. The puff is down. Real Switch gaming. Real VTuber gaming. There's a VTuber icon in the corner. Not rigged yet, though. As you can see, it doesn't. It's mouth. The mouth movements do not line up with my own. Okay, I'm gonna use protect again and see what it goes for. It's going psychic. Thought so. Hmm. Ah, 
Not safe to switch. I guess we're gonna go in with the raw thunder. Don't trust confusing it, because that never works out for me. Best to blend on the thunder and maybe even the paralysis. I got a berry, so I can take a hit. Damn it! There's another one. Take a drink, everybody. Thunder may have missed, but your hydration better not. Let's do it. You don't need to redeem a hydrate. I just did that. I'll do it again. Take that, you jerk. Okay. Special defense fell. All right, then. All or nothing thunder. Let's do it. Let's do it. Critical hit. Everybody raise your bears up for this. You can't wait for me to become a VTuber? Oops. I missed again. Don't know if you're joking or not, friend, but I am doing that. All right. Maripa's down. And I couldn't get it in Dragon Rage range. Damn it. Can outspeed this thing. I'm not confident. Um. Oh man, what a what a stab earthquake with soft sand kill this thing. Cause drowsy and hypno are more about special defense, right? But I'm not confident at these levels that that would do 51 damage. And Diglett's really frail, so a psychic could just finish it off. Charmander. Even if it, if it lands the Fire Blast, it wouldn't kill it, I don't think. Dragon Rage will only do 40. I, I know ground is physical. What's the matter? I'm, I, I'm talking about it doing damage, though. Let me see. Diglett's attack is okay. The Soft Sand helps. Let's do this. Let's go for it. Go for the Earthquake. Go for the Earthquake. The shot. That was good. Damn it. Whoa. Here it comes. There it goes. Live, damn you, live. They're both hanging tough. Mm, what if it switches? It would be safe to go for Ancient Power in that case. You can't get Ancient Power boost off kills in this... In this game, I'm pretty sure. Go. Chat, you need to chill with the back seating. I'm seeing people typing orders in chat now. Yeah, y'all ain't the one with the controller. There we go. The fudge dipped elephant is done. What's next? Okay. No, if you KO an opponent, it doesn't even roll for the Omni Boost in Gen 2. But we have to do this. It's floating. A kill? Yes, it did. It's Lediba, so of course it would. Oh, boy. That was stressful. The Omni Boost is tempting. We can't just get it for free. It must be a mistake, this. Mistake is you thought you had a chance. <laughs> if I breeze through this fast enough, I could try the Great Ball Cup after this. I can only take a couple hours of stadium talks before it breaks my will. Oh, hey, another Rocket Executive. Ooh, you're not going home safely? Is that a threat? Bro, you got Rattata and Jigglypuff. Can't be threatening there. So we got normal types, and I have no fighting moves. Hmm. That ditto can be scary, depending on what happens. You see. Well, I play Stadium every once in a while. I can only take it every once in a while. <laughs> Been a while, and you still need to go back to round two in Stadium one. Gosh, it's been almost a year since I started the stadium streams, I feel like. Anyways, I feel like spamming Earthquake with Diglett should be okay. 
Unless Hoot Hoot's on the team, in which case they're going to swap to that for sure. But then I'm afraid about it getting access to my Earthquake and spamming it on Charmander or something. <sighs> Damn it. That Snubble can hit hard with Stab normal. Hmm. Hmm. What should be the first play, then? No, it's not even a guarantee the Ditto will be on the team, so I can't just bring the Pidgey and hope it turns into it. Not to mention... Oh, wait, no, that the Mystery Barrier doesn't matter. I can't copy that. That Ditto can throw a massive wrench into the plans. I feel like starting with Mareep's Thunder Spam and having Diglett on backup would be okay... Because if Ditto comes out, I can revenge kill using Earthquake on a transformed Ditto. And then maybe... Mm, I don't know. Maybe the last one could be... If I take Mareep and Charmander as the first two and I end on Diglett, it should be able to clean up, especially in the event of the Ditto transforming. I want to say that could work. I think I hit the wrong button. Let's do this. Let's do this. Well, in Challenge Cup, the Pokemon you get are completely randomized. So the Pidgey is just a bad roll, I'm afraid. Well, there's an algorithm to it, but it's just bad. <laughs> okay, here comes a Snubble. Let me see what Snubble goes for. By protecting. Take down. Okay. A sharp attack. Oh, that's a miss. Now I could uh, try and set up Rain Dance with uh, Meryl. Hmm. Static's not a thing, so I can't remember that going in. I basically have to sacrifice. Wait, I didn't pick Meryl. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I picked Charmander instead. Don't want to confuse it with Swagger. That'd be a bad idea. So best bet is just paralyze it. Haha. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I hit and paralyzed and got a crit? Wouldn't that be so funny? Yeah, that'd be so funny. It'd be so funny if the move could hit. Is that like the six or... Oh, piss off. Piss off. Really? Really? Yeah, that's cool. That's real cool. So, what will be the next well, Pokemon? now what? It's not going to survive against... Diglett's not going to be able to kill it one hit, and it's going to one-shot me. I'm going to have to send in Charmander to soften it up. Damn it. Have been that ruined everything. That's like six or seven misses with Thunder so far, and I've hit like two or three of them, I feel. I guess I could go for the burn or crit. Whatever. I'm gonna try it. This one's already going bad. I may as well YOLO. Instead of doing two safe dragon rages. Ah, didn't get the burn. Here comes takedown. Oh! It missed? Isn't that like 85? Oh, hell yes. Dude, I wasn't expecting takedown to miss. Okay, the RNG has reversed itself in my favor. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Oh, it's okay, it's Puff. Dragon Raging this thing sucks, so we're going to hope for the burn again. Let's do it. Please burn. Please burn. Please burn. Please burn. No burn. Good damn hit. Oh, man, it's almost within Dragon Rage range. I need to hit another another uh, fire blast. Damn it! What? Do we speed tie or is it got a claw? It might have a claw. Oh! Miracle Berry! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! The puff is done. That puff is cooked. Jigglypuff is stupid slow. You're right. It's one of the slowest in Gen 1 now that I think about it, so it's got to be really slow in Gen 2. 
Unless we got a Sentret. I'm probably gonna die. It's gonna outspeed me. YOLO Fire Blast. Oh, wait, what? Wow, I thought it'd be faster. Oh, we got the burn! Headbutt. And <laughs> I lived? No way. The Sentret is terrible. We cooking. We're cooking! Look at the shade of red on this Charmander. It's extra spicy. What a little baby succeeding. That Charmander just booked the competition very well. Did the burn save the Charmander? Oh, yeah. My brain didn't mentally apply the, uh, the attack cut from the burn for some reason. We're at the last battle. Damn. Not bad. And we got three continues. Whew. And it's a juggler. He's trying to look more epic than he really is. Do you know the Fire Breather? We're kindred spirits. Did they, uh... uh that, that dialogue feels weird. Okay, what do we got? Geodude, Charmander, Mare-Ill, Zubat, and Dratini, and another Execute. Okay. Hmm. So, if I were to use Earthquake, uh, it takes out Geodude and Charmander. Hmm. In the case of Thunder, that's Zub only Zubat and Meryl, but Geodude's there, so... Geodude completely walls Mareep, so that's bad. Nothing with major HP here. Damn. If I were to take Meryl, it can surf Charmander, Geodude, and Ice Beam, Zubat, and Execute. And Ice Beam, the Dratini. Meryl's looking like the best lead here so far, not gonna lie. Um... So if I lead with Meryl, I could use uh, other Diglett and Charmander as cleanup, I'd say. Hmm. Meryl doesn't have the best stats, but if it can do super effective damage... I mean, it's Geodude. It's not dying. Or it's not surviving a Surf. It doesn't matter what my stats are. They could literally be one. Hmm. Don't really need Psychic or Solar Beam from the Execute for this one. Okay. I feel like if I press Mareep, Geodude is, is going to be guaranteed to be on the team. No, Geodude, Execute, and Dratini, Wall the Thunder strategy, so I feel like taking Mareep is just, like, not the best idea. Especially when only, it's only would be good for Meryl, maybe. Okay, Meryl, Charmander, and Diglett. Don't let me down, kids. Don't let me down. Let's do it. Squeaky toy, go. Okay. I got Mystic Water. We're gonna go for the Surf. Is it gonna switch? No, it's gonna use Flamethrower. It's hoping for the burn. Does that mean he doesn't have anything on backup? He probably hasn't picked Execute then, otherwise he would have tried to switch to it. Is this enough to kill? Nope. Damn. Mystic Water makes my stats still below, below average, I have to say. I don't think it's really worth setting up Rain Dance. Because what if I end up buffing, um... What if I end up buffing their Meryl? Oh, a crit? Okay, good. Good, good, good. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Everyone just hug a teddy. Hug a teddy and send me good luck, or else. It's doing a little dance, because it's dead. That's called the Dead Charmander Dance. Dratini? Okay. Can I outspeed it? Probably not. I don't know if Dratini's slow or not, but... Ice Beam is the obvious press. Outrage? Uh-oh. That's bad. Oh, come on. Come on, Meryl. Freeze it. That did nothing. Damn. Looks like I'm about to get, uh, get beamed here. Now the question is... Diglett or Charmander? This is gonna be a silly question, chat, but I genuinely can't remember. Is ground neutral on dragon? 
I can't remember. He doesn't resist it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, because I feel like Stab Earthquake with uh, the Soft Sand is probably my best chance of killing it. Because if I send in Charmander, I have to use Dragon Rage. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to survive the uh, Outrages, I feel. Diglett's going to go down in one hit, but I have a chance of killing it with Earthquake. I know it's not flying yet. I mean, I'm asking about dragon type. Okay, send in the earthquake. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get beaned with the baby mole. Ah, not enough. Can outrage miss? I hope you can. Okay, we're still here. Berry juice. Is it confused now? It. Come on, come on. Hang on A crit? Get bean, son. No it froze. Last Pokemon. Come on, die. please be like Charmander or something so I can. Okay! This is really bad if Charmander has to come out. This gotta finish it. It has to. You can do it, little mole. You can do it. The that has no! It's going takedown. Miss! Take it missed! Oh, that's a miss. Two takedown misses. This makes up for all those thunder misses. Unbelievable. The dude is down. The dude is down. First try Pokeball Cup. Well, even if I get bodied in Great Ball Cup, I can still say I got a victory today. That's nice. I should have never signed up for a tournament like this. Sore loser is what he is. We win! Teddy's win. Even though a Teddy Urse is not on the team, a Teddy Urse is always here in spirit. Veggie is not a team member. Don't pretend he is. Spicy Charmander is, though. And look at that. Little Meryl helps, too. Teddy Urse's team mascot. Hell yeah, it is. Redeem a hug a Teddy. All right, all right. I'll hug a little plush. Why not? We did it. I didn't even lose a single fight. I didn't even need my continues. All right, let's try Great Ball, I guess. I've got my victory for today, so... Oh, it's the so soulless-looking twins. We're serious about battling. Oh, look at these Pokemon I've got, chat. Look at these. Lovely one's level 45. Okay. Taking a look here, we got Magby, who's got Cross Chop and Fire Punch. With Protect and Smoke Screen, not terrible. And it's decently fast, because it's Magby. Hmm... Not the best defense, though. Omanite has Reflect, Rollout, Bite, and Surf. Um, it has good special attack, so I guess that Surf can be good. <laughs> Half my team are babies. Powerful babies. Magby has 106 attack, though. Omanite can be good, provided Grass types aren't on the enemy team. It's a Surf user and nothing else, though. Maybe Reflect. Maybe. Rhyhorn is... Oh, God. Oh, it has the Scope Lens... <laughs> I know Bite is special, but I'm not going fast enough to use it to flinch. And I have Pidgeotto. Oh, good. Is it better this time? I don't think I'm using this. What's the berry? Miracle Berry. Okay, Charcoal. Parasect has Fury Cutter, Double Team, Giga Drain, Protect. With a Miracle Seed. Okay, it can be alright. I guess. Bug's not that great this gen, though. Hmm... Pidgeotto is takedown, sand attack. Oh, look at that. No longer tackle and wing attack. It's takedown and fly. And it has an ice berry in case it gets burned. And its stats are absolutely mediocre. Why would I why would I quit and re-roll, son? That's not that's no fun. There we go. 
Smochum has Confusion, Thief, and Blizzard with Never Melt Ice. It has Thief and it's holding an item, so that's not going to do anything. Wait, what? It... Oh, I thought you said... Uh, okay, I thought... Um... I th you were making a joke. You were making a joke, okay? I thought you said the Pidgeotto had the experience share. I was like, what? <laughs> no way it does. Oh, someone was asking if you could. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were saying I should quit. I misread. Two chat messages. Streamer's terrible. Excellent. What's that? Streamer who misinterpreted a joke? Everyone unsub and write an angry message now. <laughs> I guess this thing can spam Blizzard. It's decently fast and has good special attack, but that's all it can do. And Confusion. I wish it had Psychic, at least. Well, this is not the best assortment of team. I feel like it can't cover everything. Uh, Pidgeotto had Mimic instead of Double Team this time. Well, instead of Double Team, it's Sand Attack. Excellent. I'm not... E I'm, I'm meme in chat, but I'm not even joking. Like, earlier today, I got a big, long message demanding an explanation for why they were told to stop being weird in chat they use that exact wording and i was just like yep i made the right decision booting this person anyways now that we know what we have now how do we use it against you there's four bug types on this team so magby wouldn't be the worst lead Holy Whirl would be a problem we can have parasect on backup for that cross chop the eevee with magby so Eh, and maybe at the end we could use... Hmm. I, actually, Pidgeotto would be okay because of Fly and being able to deal with Poliwhirl if it comes down to it, so... Magby, Parasect, and Pidgeotto, okay. Let's do it. Writes a wholesome message to also get banned. How dare you, I'm banning you. No one talks to Teddy Streamer that way. Excellent. All right. Perfect. Fire punch. I've been having a good week, chat, and I just was not in the mood to deal with people. <laughs> That's all I can say. Super effective. No ancient power for you this gen, buddy. Your villain origin story, getting banned from Mr. Pikachu's chat room. Hello, friend. Welcome to stream. I thought Poliwhirl might be here. So we're gonna go ahead and send in Parasect and spam Giga Drain. I think Magby's a mixed attacker. I know that Cross Chop's got the good crit rate anyway, but it's inaccurate as hell. Here comes Waterfall. Can you handle the world chat? Remember, I do have uh, Miracle Berry, so... Oh, I thought it was Ice Punch for a second. Damn. Look at that punch. It looks so happy to do it. It's gonna take my HP back. A set on Parasect like this is okay, but only in a situation where, um... Um, do I finish it off with Fury Cutter? I feel like I should. What if I need the four Giga Drains, but I get health back. I could set up double team in preparation of the next thing coming out. I don't know. Do you think that could work? I feel like I should just finish it off, though. Like, what if it gets a random crit and ruins that? I'm worried it's just going to go for something else, like Toxic, as soon as I start doing that. But it doesn't seem like it is. It's easy to say what if, because I don't know what the third Mon is. Come on. Probably Beedrill or Butterfree. No, it's Eevee. Okay. Um. I guess I could just hit it with my three Giga Drains for now. Is it going headbutt? It's trying to flinch lock me, I see. Yeah, there it is. That's annoying. Oh, come on, dude. How exciting, you little brats. 
Now I wish I did activate a, a, a double team or two on the Poliwhirl. Give me some health back, you little jerk. That hit it pretty hard. At this point, I may as well just spam the Giga Drain. No need to PP stall it. Oh, there's your crit. Okay, I need to switch out. I want to see if I can get the perfect. I have to eat one extra hit doing this, but... Um, did Magby have good defense? I don't remember. It'd be better if I just used Fly with Pidgeotto, because I'd, out I'd outspeed it, right? Magby could also outspeed it, but I'm worried about just missing now, you know what I mean? I'll let Pidgeotto do it. Oh boy. Your rabbit's trying to jump into its food sack? Oh, little friend. It gotta wait for its food like everybody else. Okay. Let's go for a fly. You can do this. I outspeed him now. He can't flinch me anymore. I love that little roll he does. It looks like it's bad for his spine, though. Eevee and his very... A very polite looking bowl cut. There you go. And headbutt again. The Pidgey evolved and now we're using it. Just gotta fly. Just gotta fly. Just gotta fly. Uh-oh, Eevee's gonna die. Eevee's gonna super die. Damn, we've had a lot of people here today, I've noticed. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon Stadium are good combos for stuff. Excellent. End battle. That was only the first battle, too. I'm gonna give Great Ball one attempt here. Because I spent almost an hour and I completed one thing so we'll just see how far I can get with this extra attempt it'll be too short to end after one cup let's do it not sure if this is the best team but some of these Pokemon are all right okay um I'd say Parasect is looking pretty pretty nice here same with Omanite if it can get away with spamming that surf Omanite's slow as hell, though, right? Hang on. 59, Omanite. Wait, they has the same speed, Omanite and Parasect. Okay, keep that in mind. So, Giga Drain spam and Surf spam, and I guess maybe Smoochum as final backup, but that would be pretty risky if uh, the last ones are the fossils, where I can't just uh, hit it with Blizzard. Oh, well, let's do it. Parasect, Omanite, Smoochum. Cross chop on Magby wouldn't be that great because most of them have high physical defense, so let's do it. If we could just sweep with Giga Drain, that'd be sick. Okay, now the question is do you outspeed me? Because Parasect is not fast. Let's find out. Damn it! Get my health back. I was really worried about it getting the Omni Boost. You legally cannot survive this. That's what I thought. <laughs> Man, not even a full heal off that. Matching my speed with Omanite is not a good indicator for if I can outspeed all the rock types. You all ready to get that orphan? Let's get that orphan. Sandstorm. All right. Go ahead, little baby. You know, chat, remember earlier we talked about funny redeems for VTuber models, right? You know what would be a funny one? Imagine a redeem that puts Parasex, Parasex like mushroom on your head with, like, the spooky eyes. That's a Halloween redeem right there. Giga Drain. Oh, Seismic Toss. Okay. 
It'd be a lot more easier to hire an artist for compared to the Resident Evil parasite head explosion. I think that would take a little bit more effort to animate that one. Because <laughs> that's the only other parasite thing that pops into my head. It's either Paris and Parasect from Pokemon or Resident Evil 4. Okay. Here comes Omanyte. We're getting beaned with that. Excellent. Okay, outspeed you. Let's do it. All right, we got another free continue. It's pretty de pretty decent. My eyes flash. The empty parasitic eyes, everyone. Trust the fungus. The fungus wouldn't lie to you. But it. Okay, I'm gonna become strong like you. Strong. All I did was press Giga Drain against rock and water types. Pretty easy to do, kid. Never put the mushroom on a teddy, though. We can't allow that. Well, we're out at sea. Pokemon battles are our favorite entertainment. Okay, we got lots of water types and Growlithe and Delibird. That is a very bright war turtle. Look at that. Look at that, lad. Hmm. Once again, it would be good to spam Giga Drain, except against Growlithe and Delibird. Um... No ancient power for me anymore. What was the move for Rhyhorn? Rollout. Rollout. <laughs> That's pathetic. Um... At that point, would Rollout do more to Deli Bird or would Surf? Because I have 120. And a Miracle Berry. So, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Parasect for the lead. Omanyte to switch into Growlithe and Deli Bird. It's, it'd be too, t too terrible to bring in Rhyhorn. I couldn't do that, because what if, like, a water type is left over with that? Um... Type, type resist berries? That's Gen 4. Those didn't exist until then. The berries are very basic in Gen 2. Bringing in Magby just for the frickin' to fire punch Jellybird doesn't seem like a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Rhyhorn is just asking to get killed. What's the Smoochum even going to do in that situation? Pidgeotto just for random fly damage at that point? It is faster than most things, so it might have to kill something in that case. I might need to send in Pidgeotto as the third one in case something needs to die and it has to speed. So, Parasect, Omanyte, Pidgeotto. Let's do it. Jellybird isn't locked to only presence. It's not like Smeargle where it can only use its signature. I'm not sure if the Pokemon trainers here would even use it. Okay, they led with a water type. That's good. I hope this one doesn't have Ice Punch or Ice Beam. That's a, an annoying thing about water types. Oh, there we go. Critical hit. I hope I return the favor, you little jerk. Okay. Provided he don't crit again, I should be okay. They're both hanging tough. Spoke too soon. Come on. He's a very purple lad. Are you serious? Two crits in a row and I'm still kicking. I hope it's Corsola and I outspeed it so I get a freaking free meal out of this one. Is this for real? Yeah, you're telling me. Two crits on me and I still lived. I'd be pissed too. Psyduck is not fast. I hopefully should be able to hit you and get some health back. Nope, it's Icy Wind. I can live this. Come on, please. Ah, nope. It's pretty bad. Well... Icy Wind is going to lower my speed on Pidgeotto. I need to save Omanyte. Damn it. This is a problem. Parasect was meant to deal with most of the damn team. 
This might be the first um, reset or continue use. Pijoto. The stab fly is good. The stab fly is good. Just trust it. Trust the fungus. Like Luigi said in the Mario Brothers movie, trust the fungus. It's going waterfall, not icy wind. Okay. You must view icy wind as um a kill option rather than a strategy to lower my speed. Or maybe it thought that it would uh, waterfall's a crit. Or hang on. Okay. Damn it, I barely do damage with this, but I don't have a choice. I need to save Omanite. I hope the last one is Growlithe. Please let it be Growlithe. Pidgeotto, come on. We need a crit. Prove your worth, Pidgeotto. I do not like you, you little jerk. Is he switching? Oh no. I got played. Oh, I got played. This is a problem. Yep. Oh, all because I had bad luck with the, uh, the Parasect at the front. I need something to co- uh, No, the problem is my team is not built to cover water types outside of Parasect, so if one of them is packing an ice move, I'm pretty much forced to just pray RNG, aren't I? That is true. Well... Rollout's not gonna do any damage. <laughs> Time to hit him with Stab Surf. Crit, please. How about a crit? I think I deserve one. I've been good to this year. Okay. Oh! Rollout it is. <laughs> no, I need to kill it with the Critical Surf or I'm dead. Oh, you outspeed me now. Either we tie or you got a claw. No, you went. You had negative priority last turn because Mirror Coat. Damn. That's bad. Sad thing is, Pidgeotto is still the best one in that situation. The rest of them just die? Let's go again. That was a bummer, you're telling me. You know what would have helped? If that Poliwhirl didn't roll th two crits in a row, I would have had enough HP to take the Psyduck. Those crits mattered so much, it's not even funny. Oh, man. Wish Smoochum had Psychic instead of Confusion. Let's do it. Everybody hold up your plushies. Send me good luck. Send me good luck or else. Oh, you jerk. Of course we're doing this again, huh? Well, don't have a choice. Let's hope I uh, get the favorable RNG this time. Okay. Normal damage this time. Damn. Back to full HP. We're not out of the woods yet. Come on. Charmander would not help in this fight, I'm afraid. That baby Charmander would get drowned by the water moves. You need to stop getting crits. <laughs> this is not nice. What is it? Ho what? Is it holding Bright Powder? It's holding Bright Powder. Oh. <laughs> okay, you little piece of garbage. 
that confirms it's got bright powder because it giga drains 100%. Oh, that is disgusting. And now we're in the exact same situation as last time. Isn't that fun? I don't remember how much HP I had when I tanked and I when I took an icy wind last time. I'm probably just gonna have to spam Giga Drain anyway. I hope he sends out Growlithe. Can I outspeed a War Turtle? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's do it. Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Yes. 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 This is what the Teddies need. This is what the Teddies want. Blood of the Turtle. Heal. Be healed, son. Oh, that's bad. All right, fly with uh, Pidgeotto it is. A critical hit would be so good with that mushroom. We're not getting it. Oh boy. Well, if he's got a... Uh... Man... I outspeed it. I think I also had 37 last time. He doesn't have an ice move. That's good. I can chip away at him. You don't have to worry about mirror coat with this thing. Damn it. He's going bubbles. That stab, though. Hmm. Speed fell. Well, damn, then. Should I just go for the takedown? I'm already at a huge disadvantage for whatever comes out after this. Let me go for the takedown. Yep, here's Bubbles. Because he's going to just switch again if I'm in kill range. Oh, this recoil might put me in a bad spot now. Now. Oh, that killed him. Pidgeotto's as good as dead, but it's... Please let the last one be Growlithe so I can just surf kill it with Omanite, please. Come on. It's Corsola. That's bad. Can't sand attack Miracoat. Skips the accuracy check. It's great. I'm gonna have to use Rollout against it, too. Going bubble beam. Hang on. This is bad. This is super bad. I hit it with surf. I died a mirror coat, and then it finishes me off. Is it? Out I know this Corsola outspeeds me. Do I hope I make it flinch with bite? Can you make... Hang on. If the opponent goes for Mirror Coat, can you flinch them and bite? I actually don't know. I know it still activates Mirror Coat. That's not what I mean. I mean, can I still make them flinch, or does Mirror Coat skip through that? Hmm. Because I might need to do that, so I'd need to soften it up for Surf. I can? Okay. I'd have to do it. Let's see what happens here. Stadium today, very mean. Barely did any damage, but flinch it. Yep, it's going mirror coat. <sighs> I'm gonna press rollout and hope it wastes turns with mirror coat. Are you serious? Are you input reading me, you little piece of crap? I swear you are. <sighs> Man. And I missed anyway. <sighs> well. Dang, and it gets a crit too? You little piece of trash. This would have wouldn't have happened if I could just kill the freaking polywhir like I should be able to. <laughs> that was terrible, man. That was disgusting. It's all because of the Parasect Poliwhirl matchup. 
Like, that should not have happened. Last continue. Let's try. Let's get him. Only the rest of them weren't so useless for water types right now. Here we go. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, I've only been playing this for a little over an hour. The rest of the, rest of the stream earlier was Yu-Gi-Oh! And I hate this. I hate this. We're gonna press Giga Drain and hope everything works out now. <sighs> Super effective. Critical kill it, please. I'm begging you. Critical kill it. No. Only. I didn't even fully heal off that. Dang. Okay, it's a regular hit. Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay, the crit came too late. It didn't matter there, but <clears throat> it's okay. No, no, no. I'm not worrying about freeze. I'm not going to jinx it by, like, shouting at that. Oh. Of course I was worried, though. Okay. This is going okay. This is going okay. I can still ride the waves. Let's do it. Come on. Critical hit. Critical hit. Let's go. Critical hit. Let's do it. Teddies want blood. The blood of the turtle. Oh, not even half? Not good. I'm gonna run out of Giga Drains. Here it comes. Okay, then. Let's do it. Yeah, whatever, you dumbass. Oh, this fight is terrible, dude. I need a better grass type. That's all that's all I can say. Or a thunder spammer. I basically am forced to lose here because I can't do anything but Giga Drain him. And if it doesn't do it, it doesn't do it. The mirror coat also does super suck, for sure. There's no denying that. What do I do at this point? Hmm. 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 Try this. What? I can't mimic mirror coats? <laughs> this game won't let me do anything. Whoa. Well, that's over. War Turtles attack missed. AI cheats. If I switch, it just wouldn't use Mirror Coat. What's that gonna do? Oh, there's a crit. Still not enough to kill, though. Well, now we do this. There's still a chance the last one's not Corsola. And other hilarious jokes I can convince myself of. Hmm. At least I got a crit, but it's a little too late for that. Let's do it. Is this for real? Yes. Please be Growlithe. Please be Growlithe. Please. Well. Going Mirror Coat again. Hmm. I'll hit it with Sand Attack and Spam Rollout. That's all I can do. Maybe I can survive another hit. Oh, miss. <laughs> yeah. Rock Slide hits after an accuracy drop and crits anyway. That's my luck today. That's my luck. 
Good golly, that's disgusting. It's gonna go mirror coat. So now I guess I just press rollout. We can get critical hits. Come on. Let's do it. There, it's going mirror coat. Now it's gonna probably stop using it. Let's do it. Chat, raise your plushies. Send the Omanite all the luck you've ever had. Miss. Oh! We got a miss. The sand attack carried. And I missed! Can't flinch it, because the only time I'm going to outspeed it is if it presses Mirror Coat. So now I just need to critical surf it. It's probably not... Would it press Mirror Coat again? I think it's only going to do that for the first run. I can go surf and then roll out. We'll have to see. I have no idea. Okay, it's not going to do it. If I... It's probably going to do it next turn. Just get a critical surf, but then I'd outspeed it and might be able to finish it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Critical Surf. It's not enough. <sighs> Whether it's using Mirror Code or not, I have to press Surf and hope it kills it. He said, I can't use Bite. The Mirror Code from that would kill me at this range, because that's how stupid this thing is. I'm just pressing it. Come on. Yep, it's using Mirror Code. This has to kill or it's over. What a jerk. I'm dead. Well, the team sucked for this one anyway, so let roll in again would probably probably for the best. Dude. It's all because of those damn critical hits and that bright powder against Parasect. And mirror coat. Can't forget that mirror coat. Game over. Only made it to battle three on that one. Damn. Alright, let's try one more attempt at it. I was hoping for the random crit to keep us going, but... Cleffas cheer as I lose. No, I don't. Those darn Cleffas. I was worried I was going to have a Cleffa on my team. Do I have Wobbuffet? I have Wobbuffet. <laughs> okay. I have a Wob Buffet. Mirror Coat, Destiny Bond, Counter... Yeah, it's a Wobbuffet, all right. Those are the only moves it can have, and it has an Ice Berry to stop burns. Uh, okay. Well then. So Wobbuffet's fun because it's a 50% chance whether I even get to hit them, and I have no way of knowing their moves or even looking them up. So Wobbuffet is probably going to be my reserve Pokemon at all times in case I need it. Detect, Bite, Attract, Flamethrower, Mint Berry for Confusion. That's not bad. We have, like, a bunch of bug types. And an ice type. Yeah, that would work. Togetic has pe <laughs> Peck and Sap Cannon. Okay, buddy. Okay. It has Bright Powder. Whoopee. Coughing has Rollout, Toxics, Bide, and Sludge Bomb. Miracle Berry. Graveler has Curse, Magnitude, Sunny Day, Rollout with Scope Lens. And Chincho has a gold berry with spark, takedown, and waterfall, and double team. Wow, these are... So I got a Houndour and a Wobbuffet, and I have um, a few Pokemon from Wish.com. That's what I got. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think this attempt's getting far, but YOLO. Hmm. We'll take the Houndour, and considering the ground type there, maybe I want the... I guess I could take Jincho and Wapafet on for third. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Thunder does way more damage than Spark. I wouldn't want that. Vampy came out first. It's going to Earthquake, so Chincho is going to bad, gonna be a bad switch in. If that's the case, we should just let Wapafet do it. This is a really, really bad team. Oh, 
Yep, Earthquake. Thought so. Well, time to counter, because I doubt you have a special move. Oh, you little... Well, <laughs> this is already disgustingly bad. Well, should hit with safeguard. Too late now. Heck yeah, counter. Probably would outspeed me anyway. I'm just gonna go for it. This is the first battle, and this team sucks, so I don't even care. Confuse no more. Next Pokemon, I Destiny Bond it. Chat, I am in not a good mood anymore. I got booped by evil Pokemon, and I deserve better. I'm the streamer, I deserve to win. Hmm. Well, let's do it. Kill me. Kill me. I can't even do that right. Hmm. It's gonna Giga Drain. I'm probably better off just sending in Houndour. Fit statuses. I'm going to slap no one. I wouldn't even slap my plush plushies, chat. I can't do that. That's mean. That's bully behavior right there. Okay, I read it right. Unless you're packing a focus band, I, I probably just willed that into existence by saying that, but whatever. Let's get it. You're not allowed to live this. You're gonna die. I have no expectations of winning this, but if I do, it'd be pretty funny. Let's just give it a go. See how far we can make it. The, team, the Pokemon here are random, so we just gotta deal with it, right? Can't hit me with any any psychic moves. We got this. You have a Kle Klepa plushie, Lorelei? Why would you have that? Why would you have the idol of the devil? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, we get a continue off this. That's something. <laughs> Nothing but skill. Did you? I can't remember. I don't remember if you showed it to me. Did we lose? Yes, you did. Puppy won, and now we got Oliver. You thought it was b bad before with the water rock types? Is that a Corsola? I'm gonna... Mm. That thing had a neck. I'd probably find a way to strangle it. Okay, it looks like leading with Chincho and using Waterfall is probably my best bet. Um, I don't have any grass moves at all. Wow, that's bad. That's real bad. Sludge Bomb. You got Sludge Bomb. I can zap cannon with, with, with um, yeah. I, I can zap cannon. <laughs> oh, I have Bright Powder, so maybe. So it looks like Chincho, Togetic, and Wobbuffet. Let's do it. The problem with these specialty teams with uh, the random Pokemon is that I'm just not, sometimes I'm just not going to have anything to deal with it. That's the issue. Oh, I am so done with you, you little brat. Paralyze you. Paralyze you and stop your mirror coat nonsense. Okay, no spark. Spark's got 30% chance, right? Sandstorm. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Sparks are flying, you say? Yes, they are. Super 
Ah, uh, not enough. Can't even two shot Corsola. Let's go and rock slide. Oh, critical hit. You shouldn't have. Why did you? Just in case it switches to Graveler or something. Chat, I do not like Corsola today. You know what the worst part about Corsola is? It's pink and it has a Cleffa face. Coincidence? Possibly. Undersea Cleffas. That's right. We all know Teddy's are best. Teddy's are the friends. I wonder if Cleffas will bother me in Destiny Tower. Uh-oh. You don't like that I'm talking about the Cleffas like that? Uh-oh. Gonna be like that guy earlier and demand an explanation for why I attack the Cleffas? <laughs> I just don't like Pink. I think Pink is cool. Cleffas are not. Anyways. Um, well, this is a problem. I guess Wapafet. Wait, didn't this happen last battle? <laughs> Wapafet versus Fampy? I'm gonna try... Do I try the safeguard first? I'm scared of Swagger, so maybe I should. He's switching. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there's no way in hell Graveler has a special move. Even if he explodes, I could take it. Sandstorm doesn't buff any defenses in this gen. Gen 4 is the one that adds that, I think. Okay, then. I hate how they plan around Wobbuffet. Every trainer in the entire game has a play around Wobbuffet. They know. You little... What am I gonna do? Hyper Beam Zap Cannon that Graveler? <laughs> it's trying to pee pee stall me! Go on, hit me. Roar? It failed. This is bad. This is bad. That's all it's gonna do. I have to get in Togetic, Hyper Beam it, and Destiny Bond the Graveler, maybe. Oh, this is so freaking bad, man. It sure is a battle, all right. <laughs> this is terrible. Togetic is going. He's switching. I swear they know. They have to know. Is it going to Sandstorm this turn? I have nothing I can do here. Oh. <laughs> This is the worst thing ever. Oh, it's stuck in rollout. Hang on. And it missed. <sighs> yeah, it's probably just gonna sandstorm. Yeah, it went for it. This is the most fun I've had in the past hour. That's not even true either. I, 
I pressed destiny bond and now you press counter, you little. Okay, he got a crit. Yeah, hit me. Hit me again, you little jerk. Hit me. Does this still count? I actually don't know. It doesn't. Cool. Cool. Chad, I don't like this game. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Whoopee. He knew that crit was coming, and he timed it right. Take the orange beam for nothing. This game has a hatred for me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It must. I guess I get one continue after this, but what can I do? Other than pray that, um... Jeez. Pray that Omanite can just surf this time. Oh, dude, that's bad. I could, if, if Corsola does come out first, I could start with Togetic and just pray that Zap Cannon hits it. <laughs> I don't even think I can Wobbuffet this guy. I'm gonna go brag to all my friends. Yeah, you would, you little brat. Is it even worth it to bring in Wobbuffet here? I don't know. He, ha he runs Sandstorm, so he's just gonna chip away at me with that, so it's just gonna waste our time if I try that again. I feel like I should just YOLO with the other stuff. Bring in my own Graveler, maybe? Might be for the best. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna try it. This... <laughs> this is already a mess, so let's just YOLO this attempt. Ursula? It's Cubone. Okay, it's gonna go for a rock move, probably. Hmm. So probably okay to send in Chincho, then waterfall it. It would take too long to kill with Graveler. Oh, it's going Sandstorm, of course. The whole gimmick of the team. They need to make sure the Sandstorm is going. I got a Gold Berry, though. I'm not worried. I am, in fact, not worried at all, chat. You know why? Because I believe in bears. Or some crap like that. Enough to kill? Damn it, not enough to kill. Oh. And Sandstorm's gonna kill. Before my berry goes off. Dude, this team is terrible. <laughs> my Pokemon are awful. Okay, let's do it. Well, let's press this. Press on, press this. Give it a boop. Again, I can't be upset. I cleared one I cleared one cup today like it was nothing, so I can be happy with that. Even if I lose pathetically here again, we still have victories today. Okay, Omanite. It's gonna go for a water move. That's the case. Try and save Togetic, maybe. Hmm. Go for a zap can and try save Graveler for the last one. Togetic will get walled if the last one's also Graveler. We're gonna try our best. We're not gonna hit Surrender. Yet. <laughs> Chat, what about you? Do you believe in the Teddies right now? Only Bubbles, huh? I was expecting Surf. Maybe the Teddies believe in you. You understand that? What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the There we go. Zap cannon needs to hit or it's over. The oh. It hit. Cool. What's next? Uh -oh. 
Oh, that's a crit. <laughs> well, I'm as good as dead. Peck's not gonna kill him. Hyper Beam will just leave me to leave me to die for sure. Zap Cannon's not gonna hit. What if they switch though? What if they no? If they switch, they'd probably go to Graveler or something. Hyper Beam it is. Yeah, that's my luck, all right. Sandstorm is gone. Well, it doesn't matter because my last one's Graveler. It's all up to this Graveler now. Come on. I hydrated, don't worry. Come on. Believe. Believe. Six. It's all up to the last one. If it's Corsola or something, I, I, I lose. Anything with a water move, I lose. It's got Earthquake. That's not good. All I can do is Magnitude. And hope for a high roll. Come on, let's go, Teddies. Shoot. Super effective. I need a 10 with a crit. Thank you very much. Six. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they bullied me. Can you believe this? Can you believe what a bully they are? Okay. Dang. That's terrible. This is great. Well, that's Challenge Cup for you. You do really well, and then you get Graveler. <laughs> Alright. Remember, I couldn't even one-shot Cubone with Waterfall. Remember that Lantern where I had to spam Thunder? Or was it Zap Cannon? I don't remember, but it was bad. But I still managed to win through dumb luck. Okay. Well, we tried Challenge Cup. You know what I could do, since we're short on time... I can try this, but I don't have any notes prepared, so I can just YOLO attempt Claire with the with the Pokemon I know we're good. Hang on. Hang on, go to old Pokedex. I have no idea what strategies there are for this at all. I can just pick some of the Pokemon that I know are decent and hope for the best. Could even pick uh, you and try attack That'd be fun. Why not? Why shouldn't I? I'm not picking Wobbuffet, though. I've had enough Wobbuffet shenanigans for one year. Where is, uh, Kadabra? Oh, there it is. Give it the thing for Paralysis. For a physical attacker, should I go for the all-or-nothing Hitmonlee? It could always work. Zapdos is always a good one. Except when people think it needs to use Rock Smash. Hmm... Let me see. Mud Slap has unironically helped as well. Hmm. Sure, why not? Could take the Dawn Fan. Let's see. There he is. Give it the berry. As for the last one, who el who else have I been using? I'm not taking the Teddy. I don't have a water type. Water type rentals usually suck here. That's the issue. Uh, at least Seedra has Surf and good speed. That's another reason to consider that one. Eh, it could be all right. Dragon Beth for the random uh, paralysis. Hmm. Like I'll get frozen. Ah, I'm gonna do it. This is just gonna be a YOLO attempt to end the stream on. Challenge Cup was pretty pitiful. Let's see, I trained by battling as many as I can. Look at all those dragons. So we know that there's a Haunter on board there. Can't really spam Thunder. Tangula's... It's only good for Golduck. That's the issue. Hmm. There's always try attack maybe fly. Kadabra can Psychic you... Or Psychic the Haunter. Thunder Punch the Golduck. Hmm. 
Man, really not the best team matchup for this, is it? I'll try this. Let's go for it. This is it. The final not like there's any dragons to really choose here for this. Cool trainer. Let's see what we can do. One last attempt just to go for it. Remember, we already cleared one challenge cup today, so all things considered, it's pretty good. Okay, you're going to go for ice probably. At least I can resist yours. So maybe I should just spam thunder punch and hope for the best. I have, I'm not looking at notes for this one, by the way. I have no idea if they have any weird gimmick attacks or switching things. Oh, is mean look her strategy? Oh no, that Pokemon can't okay. be They're both hanging tough. So we're just gonna YOLO and go for it. They looked at me, that's what that that's right. Okay, I got the paralysis. Let's see if we can do it. Lovely kiss. That's lame. At least I paralyzed you before this went into effect. Okay. I get the first move, always. Still sleeping. Not bad. Is she going for Nightmare? I hope not. <sighs> Dream Eater. Come on. Come on. Let's get some crits. Go, my dude, go. This is painful. <laughs> I already paralyzed you. Let's just exhaust my thunder punches. And this is why we normally check notes. So we have a quick way to deal with this crap. This is the best paralysis luck I have ever had in my life. I have to say that. And it's wasted on a kind of a throwaway attempt. Okay, the first Pokemon is down after lots of efforts. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. We got... Listen, after how Gym Leader Castle has been going, I have to say that, like, I'm due for some bad RNG after everything. The fact that I made it past, like, the Team Rocket gauntlet first try was ridiculous for round two. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. Spiderweb? I'm terrified, everyone. I'm terrified. Kill. A wow assist. You must uwu speak everything. I will never make an uwu redeem. Even with the VTuber. Never. Okay. Is it gonna mean look Dream Eater me? It seems to be like her thing is she makes it so I can't escape. And she goes for like sleep or something. Oh, crit. Nice. Ugh, I misplayed that. Yes, you did. There's no continue system for Gym Leader Castle fights, so this is okay. She's upset. I've never been beaten this way. That's hard to believe. Let's do it again, everybody. Blackthorn Gym, Battle 2. Come face my thoroughly toughened Pokemon. Uh, sir, those are mid-evolutions. He is a very mid-team. <laughs> okay. Leaf Store. Ivy Store. Croco Store. Lava Store. Melio Store. War Store. He's not that intimidating. He must have some gimmicky attack or gimmicky set on him then. Maybe, uh, you know what I could do is I could spam Psychic and Tri-Attack against most of these. 
And uh, Earthquake's kind of not safe for Dawn Fan because grass and water. Maybe have Zapdos come in last last minute to sweep with Thunder. I'm hoping it's not grass types left. I can fly with the gra against the grass types. Thunder Punch the water types. Yeah, I think the top row should be okay. I don't think they're packing rock moves. Maybe ice, but... This doesn't seem too bad. This guy seems like a filler trainer, unless they're all packing Oko moves or some scum strat. Here we go. Always trust the rental Kadabra. Okay. If you use Mirror Coat, I'm gonna toss you out of the stadium. I have a strong throwing arm. Don't make me try. Ooh. Got the paralysis. Didn't take it to half health, though. Never mind. <gasps> Chat, that turtle's dropping from the third story window. You piece of crap. You piece of crap. I'm gonna thunder it. It won't live that. Well, now we know never to trust war turtles. This episode has taught me that very much. Kill, 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 kill. I missed. Blizzard. I'm getting bullied. I'm getting bullied. Kill, kill, kill. I can't believe a war turtle just did this to me. Again. <laughs> this episode is making me not like war turtles today. I have to say that. We lava. Well. Nothing left to do except Thunder Spam. You outspeed me. You outspeed Zapdos. Quilava outspeed Zapdos, everyone. It's gonna claw or something, maybe. Well, time we press try attack. I can't believe this crap. This is... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's press try attack and try and attack. Try and give him a status condition. Nope. Damn. Miss. I don't think I've seen the opponent miss a single fire blast this week. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in the birds here. Okay. That's some good belief right there. It's got, like, the most bruh look on its face. Is the last one gonna be grass? Would a single fly even be enough to kill? <sighs> Ivysaur and Bayleaf are kind of more solid Pokemon defensively, so... Well, and now, chat, we pray. Critical hit. Critical hit. Come on. Razor Leaf. That's all I can do. I could probably take it. Come on. Believe. Enough. Come on. It. Of course it got the crit. Of course it got the crit. <laughs> oh, I don't like this guy. That was silly. That was really silly. That war turtle is evil. Evil, I say. Oh, better go look for my next opponent, you jerk. I don't know, okay. One salty run back. One salty run back. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm in heavy training with my sights on the summit. Would you spar with me? I'll spar with you, all right. Okay, we know that the Jinx goes for Dream Eater and stuff, but would Dawn Fan be able to take a thing? Because if I do that... Mm -mm. The, the strategy here is to, is to keep me in. 
Hmm. So if that's the case, maybe Dodri will be okay and switch to the right one if I need to. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, I hit the wrong buttons. Let's try that. This is it. The final gym. Awaiting the challenger are the The final gym, they say. And then we gotta deal with the Elite Four gauntlet sometime. Okay, let's give it another solid attempt. We can do this. Jinx first? I hope not. No, try attack would actually hit it pretty hard if it goes for me and look first. Okay, it's doing Golduck first. Hmm. Let's go Kadabra. The gold, the gold ants. Last attempt for the day. Again, I've beaten one challenge cup. I've had, I've done entire streams where I beat nothing and it's demotivated as hell. Whirlpool is your, your, your trapping option. Okay. And it missed too. Let's do it. Thunder punch it. Ooh, not even half. It's really going for the whirlpool. Hmm. It just seems to be... It wants to trap me in. So essentially, if I do my switching right, the first turn is kind of free. Whirlpool is really bad, though. Ooh, that one rolled higher. That must have been a bad low roll last turn. The Whirlpool is gone once the user's gone, right? I can't remember if that's different in Gen 2. Either way, I can just use Psychic against him. Smeargle is dead. We know how bad it is. Okay. Gonna Spiderweb, but that won't matter. I'm not sure if Spiderweb uh, depends on the user being still in there, too. I don't actually know. I don't think too much about Spiderweb. Also because it's like Ariados' signature move for a long time. Until I think like the Gavantula family gets it. How could this happen? Ooh, we know how this ends. I think I got a crit last time, so I'm not sure if I can one-shot. Let me get some water. Could this be it? Well, I got another crit. The last Pokemon goes down. And there goes the battle. Okay, we know that that War Turtle is a demon. So if it comes out, I'll probably... Hmm. Probably be safe to switch into Zapdos if that happens. Or I can also set up a Reflect first. Depending on what it goes to. Don't know for sure if War Turtle would even come out. He probably is set to pick one of each type. He wouldn't double up on types. Hmm. 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 Okay. Let's do it. We know that War Turtle's got Mirror Coat. It's the only one on the team that can have Mirror Coat, so we can plan around this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Now hold up a second. Second one I got. Reflect could probably just be meaningless here, but I'll set it up first just in case. It's better protected against physical attack. Yep, it's going mirror coat. Mirror coat. No, that didn't now the question is, would it go for it twice in a row? Because what else can War Turtle really do to me once I set up this? So let me let me see if it keeps going for it, or if it only goes for one turn. The commands are made. I'll try Kinesis. Kinesis. The move 
but it failed. Hydro pump, of course. And it missed. Alright, let's see if it's <clears throat> if it alternates here. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. It'll probably go for mirror cone again the second I try and use thunder. Okay, it's still going hydro pump. Damn, that did too much. That did too much. Hang on. Lower its PP for a second. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's trying Miracle, you little jerk. <laughs> All right, then. Go for the raw thunder now. I need to hit it. I'll probably switch. Kill. Okay, good. Oh, boy. That war turtle is annoying. Just like that one earlier, too. Okay, you got Bayleaf. Mm. Reflect is worn off now. I'm gonna detect and see what it goes for. I need to see this. It's Leaf Storm, but it's not doesn't have Leaf Storm. Counter? <laughs> the Bayleaf runs counter? I didn't expect that. I wasn't that wasn't on my bingo card. If that's the case, hitting it with Thunder is the best bet, clearly. For the chance of paralysis. I got it. It's going body slam now. Mm. You do this. <sighs> of course, the flash misses. <sighs> I'm about to go down now. Is there even a point in staying in? May as well just try another flash and go down. He was trying to read the rock smash. Can you imagine if that was the one time I tried rock smash? That'd be so funny. Come on. There I go. Oh, what a pain he is. So I should just spam Psychic with Kadabra, I feel. Not sure it'd even be worth setting up with Reflect in case a Body Slam goes through. I should just depend on the Paralysis. Let's do it. I gave it a little bit of damage there. Hang on, I will get a drink. Defense fell. Yep, here we go. Last one's gonna either be Charmeleon or Kulava. I know Charmeleon can learn counter through a uh, Gen 1 TM. So... Yeah. Hmm. Since the War Turtle's got Mirror Coat and this thing has counter, I imagine some of them are probably running moves like that, too. I don't think Palava can learn Mirror Coat or counter. It's just spam Psychic and hope we get it get it out of here, then. Let's do that. Ooh, a crit! Critical Psychics are always nice. If I was- if I had the notes for this one, I absolutely would have been prepped for that, but I'm learning it the hard way today. Because I just decided to YOLO try. Okay, we get to have one honest attempt at Claire. And then we can call it a night. I've been going late today. I'm sorry I took you for granted. You're tough after all. We'll do this. Come on. See if we can do this. You're challenging me. Ooh, that's a... Uh, that's a terrifying team. So this is one of those teams where you absolutely need, need to have the notes. But I'm giving it one attempt, and I don't have them. I don't even have the right... Know what Pokemon you're supposed to pick for this gym. Let's just think about it here. 
Nido King. Would Nido King even die to one freaking psychic? I don't even I think so. Thunder Punch on Gyarados would be good, but Rhydon's probably there to switch out of electric moves. Hmm. Two water types, so Dawn Fan could be scary. But switching in the Charizard will protect it from Earthquake as well. Half the team is weak to Earthquake. Half the team is weak to Surf. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. Why would I send in Zapdos when two Pokemon are completely immune to it? It's the easiest switch in the world for her, and Zapdos can't do a thing to them. Unless... You can Rock Smash the ride on. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Uh... Okay. 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 Two are also weak to it. Yeah, but that's not gonna really do a whole lot if I can't hit them. All she has to do is switch. Because she cheats. Let me see. I send in Seedra. I can surf everything except Ampharos can electric me, and I can Dragon Breath Kingdra, but that's not gonna be a guaranteed kill. Don't cheer for the Charizard. There you go. Oh, so bad here. Hmm. Hmm. No matter how I look at this, it's scary. I'm just gonna YOLO go for it. Let's find it out. Let's find out how to do this. She's no doubt gonna be packing variety. It's round two, after all. Come on. Well... I can paralyze you. Are you switching? She's scared. She's scared of the Seedra. She can't take it. Oh, it's Ampharos. Ampharos. My favorite Pokemon. Not in Crystal version, though. Paralyze. No paralysis. Okay. Absolutely going for an electric move. Dawn Fan is the safest switching in the world. Now we're gonna find out if Charizard's on the team when I press Earthquake. Let's go. Come on, come on, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah! Get memed on, sucker. Okay. We press Earthquake. You're not switching? Charizard's not on the team then. Ooh, that did a little too much for comfort. Come on. Hang on Damn, this has to kill. Oh! Both tough. That's bad. No Gyarados either. That's so bad, man. That's so costly to me. At this point, is she's probably going to send out Kingdra. Is it even worth it to switch? Because I can't even save Dawnfan to do anything now. We know that Gyarados and Charizard aren't on the team, because it would have been easy for her to switch to that. Probably ride on or Nido King. Oh, wait, I have a berry. That's right. <sighs> That's the case. Probably could switch to Seedra and take a water move. If, if she goes for Surf, that is. I'm gonna go for it. The Pokemon is returning Come on. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. Ice beam. What's this? That is an accomplishment. Okay. How will this Pokemon switch affect the flow of battle? I have Dragon Breath too, but the difference is you're weak to it. Damn it, that's gonna kill me. I need to freaking paralyze her or it's over. Come on. What? Bright powder. It's holding bright powder. Well, that's the second time this has happened today. Oh, that's bad. Hello, friends. Welcome to my misery. Well, now we spam Psychic and pray. There's the shot. That's it. Damn. Oh, and down it goes. This Pokemon will join the battle now. 
I don't suppose the game could give me a critical psychic. Oh, it's I've been a good teddy. Can't I just have that? Lost to Bright Powder, man. We'll never know if I could have rolled the paralysis for that and sweeped. Come on. Critical hit. Critical hit. Oh, not even half. Oh, hang on. That's promising. Return? Uh-oh. I'm alive. Come on. It's not over yet. Come on. Okay. Okay. We might be able to cheese a victory out of here. Get that gooey cheese all over the trophy. It's right on. Ooh, that's rough. I gotta hit it with a good psychic and then finish it off with Earthquake with Dawn Fan, basically. Let's do it. He's got a ton of HP. A sharp Come on. Oh, what's this? Right, that's a hit. Yes, it's going down. The spoon has hit me. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. The Pokemon emerges from its Pokeball. Big elephant. Will this be enough? Probably not, unless I roll a crit. Earthquake versus Earthquake. Massive defense. No super effective damage, though. No! Damn. I blame this entirely on the Bright Powder miss. Damn. Oh, I was actually close, too. That's unfortunate. Now, I was really close. I played right, but Bright Powder. I'm having a hard time understanding how you've come- you, sh How dare you? How dare you? Ampharos living on eight, 1 HP also wrecked it. Yeah. If I would have had the remaining HP um, by killing Ampharos on that turn, I could have probably lived that Earthquake and finished off Rhydon. I don't know if Earthquake would have killed it, though. It's super effective, but I could have rolled the crit, maybe. I don't know. Ah. Uh, I did well, though. Next time, I'll just pick the notes and absolutely trash her. So, let's see. Today, we we cleared one challenge cup, which is huge, because the Pokemon are random in that. Um, I did attempt Great Ball, but I had some really bad picks, unfortunately. Like, the Houndour Wobbuffet theme was basically a joke. And that was a good attempt on Claire, honestly. Like, I almost had her, and I wasn't even checking notes for anything. Hmm. Pardon me. But I've been streaming for quite a long time today, so I think it's a good place to wrap this up. I had a fun time. I hope you guys did too. Next time, we should... Um, I probably could check the notes for Claire and see what the better Pokemon are. And then maybe we can attempt the Elite Four gauntlet and cry. And cry. And cry. And maybe win. <laughs> Rapid spin is not a priority move. No, 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 no. Not in this game. That wasn't doing anything. Especially not against Rhydon. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. This is where this recording ends. Looks like I was going for a bit. Have a good night, everybody. And hopefully we'll do better next time. Bye-bye.